Hello, everyone. Welcome to Creative Biolabs. Creative Biolabs is a CRO company committed to promoting basic research and pharmaceutical development with our expertise. Today we are going to introduce macrophages as targets in cancer immunotherapy. The contents of this video include a general introduction to macrophages, tumor-associated macrophages, and their functions, as well as strategies for targeting macrophages for tumor immunotherapy. Macrophage is a type of white blood cell that surrounds and kills microorganisms, removes dead cells, and stimulates the action of other immune system cells. Based on studies from mouse models, macrophages may have at least four origins. Some macrophages are from the yolk sac that mainly resides in tissues such as the liver, spleen, lung, brain, pancreas, and kidney. Some macrophages are derived from bone marrow and go through a maturation process. Longer Han cells are from the fetal liver. A few studies have also claimed that a minority of tumor-associated macrophages may come from extramedullary hemodopoiesis, especially in the spleen. M1 and M2 are classifications historically used to define macrophages activated in vitro as pro-inflammatory, M1, or anti-inflammatory, M2, respectively. However, in vivo macrophages are highly specialized, transcriptomically dynamic, and extremely heterogeneous with regards to their phenotypes and functions, which are continuously shaped by their tissue microenvironment. Therefore, the M1 or M2 classification is too simplistic to explain the true nature of in vivo macrophages, although these terms are still often used to indicate whether the macrophages in question are more pro-inflammatory or anti-inflammatory. Tissue macrophages are derived from embryonic or adult hematopoietic stem cell progenitor cells under homeostatic conditions, with the relative contribution of these populations varying by tissue. Monocyte-derived cells also contribute to the macrophage population in some tissues but are mostly associated with a response to inflammatory conditions, including cancer. The combination of their developmental origin and tissue of residence is thought to fine-tune the eventual response of a macrophage to polarizing stimuli. These distinctions in both macrophage phenotypes in response to the same tumor microenvironment and underlying origin-based epigenetic patterns are depicted by the colored gradients. The tumor microenvironment TME, provides an essential ecological niche for cancer initiation and progression. Inflammatory cells and mediators are key universal components of the TME, and tumor-associated macrophages have served as a paradigm for the connection between inflammation and cancer. It has long been held that tumor-associated macrophages originate from bone marrow-derived monocytic precursors, which replenish the tumor compartment. The functions of macrophages in cancers include 1. Promotion of angiogenesis 2. Induction of invasiveness and metastasis. 3. Regulation of the tumor microenvironment. 4. Induction of therapeutic resistance. And we'll go over each one in detail. Promotion of angiogenesis. By expressing WNT7B, WNT5A, WNT11, VGFC, VGFD, and other factors, macrophages are deeply involved in vasculogenesis and lymphogenesis. In addition, tumor-associated macrophage can enhance tumor hypoxia and glycolysis, two important causes of angiogenesis. HIF1-alpha is a protein induced in hypoxia conditions. It has been demonstrated that HIF1-alpha is an important transcriptional factor regulating the transcription of angiogenesis-associated genes, such as VEGF, BFGF, PDGF, and PGE2, in tumor-associated macrophages. Through the synthesis of WNT7B, macrophages also stimulate vascular endothelial cells to produce VEGF. Other tumor-associated macrophage-produced proangiogenic molecules that recruit or activate endothelial cells include CXCL12, TNF-alpha, IL-1-beta, IL-8, SEMA4D, adrenomedulin, and thymidine phosphorylase. Induction of Invasiveness and Metastasis 
Macrophages can not only increase the density of blood vessels but also promote the invasiveness and metastasis of tumor cells. By expressing matrix metalloproteinases, cathepsin, urokinase plasminogen activator, and matrix remodeling enzymes, such as lysyl oxidase and osteonectin, macrophages dissolve the extracellular matrix to pave the path for tumor cell escape. Tumor-associated macrophages upregulate cytokines, such as IL-1RA, to promote metastasis by enhancing tumor cell stemness. Secretion of TGF-beta and growth factors, such as EGF analogs, promotes epithelial mesenchymal transition and invasiveness of tumor cells. Exosomes released from M2 macrophages are responsible for cancer metastasis by transferring certain mRNAs into cancer cells, such as colorectal cancer and pancreatic ductal adenocarcinoma cells. In addition to macrophages in primary tumors, macrophages can also assist in tumor survival and colonization at premetastatic lesions. Tissue-resident macrophages have also been demonstrated to promote or restrict metastasis. Regulation of the tumor microenvironment. Many factors, such as CSF1, VGFA, CXCL12, ANG2, CCL5, and CCL2, in solid tumors can recruit angiogenic macrophages. This enrichment allows macrophages to play a major role in the construction of the tumor immune microenvironment. It has been summarized that tumor-associated macrophages support a suppressive tumor microenvironment in three ways. One, by consuming the metabolites. For example, L-arginine, which is essential for T-cell activation, can be metabolized by tumor-associated macrophages with high expression of ARG1. Two, by producing the cytokines and chemokines, IL-10, TGF-beta, and PGE2, which are primarily secreted by tumor-associated macrophages to inhibit the activation and function of various immune cells, including cytotoxic T cells, but induce and maintain regulatory T cells. 3. By expressing inhibitory molecules. Tumor-associated macrophages elicit immune suppression through the expression of inhibitory receptors or immune checkpoint ligands. For example, MHC1 molecules, PDL1, PDL2, CD80, CD86, B7H4, and VISTA. These molecules deliver an inhibitory signal to ligand or receptor expressing immune cells. Induction of therapeutic resistance. Macrophages are also an important cell extrinsic factor that mediates the resistance of tumor cells to chemotherapy or radiotherapy. By expressing IL-6, TNF-alpha, cathepsin B and S, or inducing other cells to produce IL-6, macrophages activate STAT-3 in tumor cells, which enhances the proliferation and survival of malignant cells under treatment with several chemotherapeutics. Tumor-associated macrophages contribute to chemoresistance by inducing pro-survival and anti-apoptotic signals in cancer cells, as well as their protumoral polarization. It has been reported that irradiation promotes the accumulation and M2 polarization of macrophages. Inhibition of differentiation of M2 macrophages showed enhanced responses to radiotherapy in breast cancer. Of note, dying cancer cells after treatment with chemotherapeutics or radiation might also initiate anti-tumor immune responses. Whether the function of macrophages leads to sensitization or resistance to traditional therapy is complex. A better understanding of the mechanisms can improve the efficacy of traditional oncotherapy. Due to the limitations and shortages of traditional cancer treatments, immunotherapy has become the most promising cancer treatment. Various cancer immunotherapy strategies have emerged. These include adoptive cellular immunotherapy, tumor vaccines, antibodies, immune checkpoint inhibitors, and small molecule inhibitors. Although most of these strategies are not meant to target macrophages directly or originally, macrophages contribute significantly to the final outcomes. The potential and promising strategies targeting macrophages have been categorized into six types based on their objectives. 1. Suppression of macrophage recruitment. Molecules on monocytes slash macrophages, such as CCR2, CCR5, VGFR, CSF1R, ITGA4, and C5A, 
contribute to the infiltration of macrophages into tumors. Inhibitors or antibodies against them or some of their ligands, such as CCL2, CCL5, VGF, and CSF1, could suppress the recruitment of macrophages. Reduced angiogenesis caused by targeting NRP1 and ANG2 could also result in a decrease in macrophage recruitment. 2. Reduction of macrophage survival. As CSF1 is a crucial signal for the differentiation of macrophages, CSF1 inhibitors restrain the formation of macrophages. Trebectidin could also be used to reduce the survival of macrophages by inducing apoptosis. Immunotoxins targeting scavenger receptor A or folate receptor beta can deplete tumor-associated macrophages, and bisphosphonates are metabolic analogs that reduce macrophages. 3. Inhibition of tumor-promoting functions. TIM3 blocking antibody is reported to regulate the activation of tumor-associated macrophages. By inhibiting angiogenesis, anti-VGF, anti-VGFR, and tyrosine kinase inhibitors could weaken the protumeral function of tumor-associated macrophages. Tumor-associated macrophages contribute to an immunosuppressive microenvironment by expressing indolamine pyrrole 2 3 dioxygenase hemoxygenase, arginase, TGF-beta, IL-10, prostaglandins, and so on. Aspirin reduces the generation of prostaglandins. Blocking immune checkpoints, such as PDL1, PDL2, B7H4, Vista, B7-1, and B7-2, on macrophages could relieve the function of other immune cells. 4. Removal of the macrophage blockade. Interactions between CD47 on tumors and SARP-alpha on macrophages help tumor cells evade macrophage phagocytosis. Antibodies against CD47 or SIRP-alpha could remove the blockage. In addition, antibodies against MUC1 and EGFR inhibit SIRP-alpha. 5. Induction of repolarization. M1 polarization of tumor-associated macrophages is associated with anti-tumor responses, while M2 polarization is associated with pro-tumor activities. Several factors can induce M1 polarization, including IFN gamma, CD40 agonists, inhibitors of PI3K gamma, MTOR, DICER, agonists of TLR4789, methionine sulfoxamine, histone deacetylase inhibitors, and antibodies against macrophage receptors with collagenous structures. In contrast, factors inhibiting M2 polarization, such as CSF1 are inhibitors, corosolic acid, omeprazole, GPR132 inhibitors, MEK, STAT3 inhibitors, fast-mimicking diets, and antibodies against IL-4, IL-4 or alpha, and IL-13, can also reduce the tumor burden. 6. Modification of effector cells Chimeric antigen receptor macrophages similar to CAR T cells have been used to enhance tumoricidal functions. Targets, such as CD19, HER2, and mesophilin, have been explored. Here is a list of selected clinical trials targeting tumor-associated macrophages. It is hoped that there will be successful macrophage-targeted cancer therapies in the near future. Creative Biolabs offers first-in-class macrophage therapeutic development services, including macrophage isolation and culture, polarization assay, phenotype identification, characterization, reprogramming, macrophage marker development, macrophage-targeted drug delivery system development, and macrophage engineering for drug delivery. Please don't hesitate to contact us if you are interested in our services or if you have any questions.